Could the strings of string theory represent potential timelines from the past into the future? When someone first came up with the concept of strings, it was because they saw symmetry in the equation and thought it could represent a string running through the equation. But it is far more logical to think of it as a timeline with the process forming the passage of time. In this theory, we have a dynamic universe with the future continuously unfolding with new photon vibrations or oscillations. Within such a process, the past is represented by antimatter annihilation. We have CPT symmetry because the future is always based 100% on the past. Therefore, we have mirror symmetry between the future and the past at each dipole moment or photon electron coupling. U. Everett's Many Worlds interpretation was a forerunner to string theory with its extra dimensions. In these videos, the extra dimensions are explained as future possibilities and opportunities in our one three dimensional universe. In the mathematics of U. Everett's Many Worlds theory, the parallel universes or extra dimensions are at right angles to each other. In this theory, as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking, the mathematics can represent the surface of a sphere always being at right angles to the center of the sphere. As a process of continuous energy exchange, this can be seen in our everyday life with electromagnetic fields always being at right angles to each other. The reason why strings need 11 dimensions and spheres only need 3 is because the two-dimensional surface of a sphere can form a dynamic membrane or what I like to call a two-dimensional boundary condition. In our everyday life, this is represented by the movement of positive and negative charge with positive charge formed by the outer convex curvature and negative charge formed by the inner concaved curvature. This dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition allows for the use of the holographic principle with the information of our three-dimensional universe encoded holographically with the movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. The other great advantage of having spheres instead of strings is that an interior of a sphere is naturally three-dimensional. Also, when spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes in the form of the Fibonacci spiral, and this is what we see throughout nature. Such a process will form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we can see in the complexity and diversity of cell life and in the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. This potential is formed by the geometrical fact that there are an infinite number of line symmetries here. In this theory, there are no strings these line symmetries represent an infinite number of potential timelines for future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.